Uh, for transportability, um, this isn't the lightest or the smallest or most compact, but it can be transported. In fact, my parabolic I've transported up and down my state. Uh, pull out your uh, hot or your burner pad or your burner plate. Store it. Don't lose your uh, screws there. Store it in your car or wherever it is. Then all you have to do, loosen down below, and you can lift it right up out of there. It's not too heavy for most people. For some people, I had a few older ladies that decided that was something they were not going to do. But uh, I usually pick it up and then put it over here on my car and if you have the elevation adjuster cranked down completely, that way it doesn't rest on the, the, uh, the stem in, in between the, par the parabola there, in the middle of the parabola. And it will rest flat on top of your vehicle. And I just uh, ratchet it down with a tie down ratchet. I'll do it one way and then another way crossways over that. And then I can transport it all over the state. I've, because it's pretty aerodynamic when it's down like that, it rides very well on top of there. And so I've been able to transport it from north to south without any problem at all. Or if you have a pickup truck, you can just lay it in the back of that. If you don't have that and you still want to transport it, cut the thing in half or take the screws out to where you split it in half, split the parabola in half, and take half the panels and then the other half of the panels, and then just put it in your vehicle, and then you can transport it that way, and you just have a few screws to assemble it again. But uh, a lot of people have always asked, well, how do you uh, transport this around? Most people won't transport it that often. Most people that buy a uh, parabolic will usually leave it at their cabin or their farm or their home and just leave it there more as a permanent thing. But if you do decide to transport it, it is doable and is possible.